uh yeah so i mean we're here we're here thank you for for joining everybody i know that it's monday mondays are always busy and usually once you're not busy you're tired so i'm glad that we were able to kind of have this uh somewhat of an emergency meeting um so first things first let's talk business um what are we looking like moving forward because with uh just with the what's going on here in america right now it actually kind of halted our production <laughs> So in that meantime, um, Jordan, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. Um, <laughs> you've been doing a great job of um, sending out um, just those those posts. So definitely keep that up. Keep uh, just spreading the message and stuff because now you're starting to, I look, it looks like you're starting to have more fun with it. So I like that. So. True. Right, boy? My count now, boy. Keep, you gotta keep tagging us in it though. Yes. Yeah, tag us. You gotta tag us. Yeah. Tag us so we can repost. Yeah. Make sure, yeah, make sure you tag us uh, when you're doing it. Jordan's at work right now. All right, cool. So, <laughs> so, so um, I mean, with that being down, what are we looking at with the release date of uh, the D and D video? I know you two really were kind of spearheading this. But do yeah, you I'm want, just, I'm just thinking about it, and we're only really talking about, I don't know, two minutes of footage here. We're not talking about nothing crazy. So we just need. Something that we can cut. And then put oh in. yeah, for sure. Right. Wednesday night, would you be free for recording that book? <laughs> oh, I need five dollars. We're out of space on the drive. I need five dollars. We're at like ninety six. Got you. A hundred dollars. I said five dollars. A hundred dollars. Five. Hundred. No, not not five hundred. Five. If you, if you got 500, you can send that, though. <laughs> if you want. If you want. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I'm going to need that because um, I'm going to be making a purchase. Uh, mute your mic. I'm going to need five. I'm going to need. But um, moving on. Uh, Jordan, mute your mic. I did. I thought I did. I didn't. No, I, I muted you and then you unmuted it. That's what happened. <laughs> This month has been a month. Um, it's been a heavy month. It's been a heavy summer. It's been a heavy year. But I mean, this month in particular, um, I, I feel like we've just never been so in tune with loss the way we are now. And uh, just just going back Friday, I mean, we lost a great one. We lost Chadwick, um, Black Panther, you know, Jackie Robinson. Guy was amazing. Thurgood Marshall, James Brown. He was he was he was literally in the the prime of his career. He was the next. I call him the next Denzel because he was that good. Um, but, yeah, but just just going back, it it literally felt like uh, it felt like Kobe all over again. I know it's a, it's a sad thing, but I just like to honor honor their memory, like Kobe and Chad. It's like Chadwick was just he was he was a, a real life superhero. He inspires so many kids, and you gotta, you gotta keep in that mind frame. And what Kobe was talking about, with always being persistent and, and going as hard as you can. Don't, don't, don't mourn them without honoring their memory and doing what they, what they believe in. You know what I'm saying? So go hard, go hard for them. You know, don't, don't just mourn and be sad. Do what they believed in if you want to honor them. Straight up. Black Panther was a life-changing movie for a lot of people. It was a perspective shift of unprecedented proportions, and Chadwick did that with every movie that he made. You know, he brought a historical character to life in a way that we hadn't seen before, you know, especially from a black actor because they'd never been given the opportunity. So the, 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 the waves and the change in film that he's, you know, kind of been able to usher in you know after actors like samuel L. jackson denzel washington um cuba Gooding jr all kind of laid these foundations for different genres and different places and he stepped into that that presence so well all the while going through chemo and i think everyone on this call has personal experience watching somebody go through that Mm-hmm. And it just makes those accomplishments all the greater. And what's crazy is I feel like everybody kind of put it together themselves when they heard how long he had it. 
and I was like, wait a minute, he had it while he was doing this and that and this, and we we know Marvel's workout regimen and how mm-hmm. crazy it is. So it's like this guy was really putting in work while he was sick. Like it just for me that day when we found out, I was crushed. I was, I, it was. I, I I was just getting to a point where I'm okay with seeing these Kobe commercials. It's like, all right, and then this happens, and I was just, it, I, I I literally just had to just stop. I just got highly emotional just with everything, and so that next day, I felt I felt good, and I felt good because it's the fact that he gave his everything. He didn't he didn't have no scandals. He didn't you know he wasn't a guy that you know had malice in his heart he was a truly good person and for that it feels like we didn't lose somebody we gained so much more we we gained a figure that kids can look up to because this is going to change uh this is going to change the world this guy was huge and I, i'm just i'm grateful to have been able to experience black panther when it first dropped and really got to see how many people were just emotional about it and it's it's an emotional movie. That's why it's always gonna it's always gonna be one of the top fives, always, for multiple reasons. Now, but I mean, it's always gonna be one of the top five movies. And so, I think just how we carry ourselves, especially as black men, I think it was really well uh, shown in the movies that he played these historical figures or he played these fictional characters. He did a fantastic job, and that's why I know Stan Lee was proud of. Him. I know Stan Lee was proud. Of it, it, it's like I keep saying to you guys we have to be the best versions of ourselves always there's no excuse like, there's no like this this really showed me like there's no excuse you got now Jason you got nothing <laughs> <laughs> go do it go do it I don't want to hear it but yeah we didn't deserve what he gave us the <laughs> amount of work the amount of uh, you know dedication the amount of what he did behind the scenes yeah. what he did to further inspire people like I said, man, uh, he he did something. He planted a seed that's gonna automatically grow by itself for many generations, like many generations. He opened the eyes of many, you know, of many uh, non-educated black people when it came to uh, superheroes. Yeah. I knew a lot of people who didn't care about Marvel or Black Panther, but once they knew that he was going to come to the screen, hell yeah, they went to see it. And just kind of piggybacking off what you're saying, just um, <clears throat> we don't know what his private life is like. And I love that. That's yeah. how it should be. He had a yeah. his, everybody in his circle, how, however we didn't it know. was, yeah. kept their mouth shut. Mm-hmm. Nobody said a thing. That's how it's. That's how it should always be, man. It shouldn't be. Well, I heard rumors that he was sick, or I heard. No, we didn't know a thing. That's. I think that was another shocker for us too. It was like, what? One. One of the great things about Black Panther is that it, it became just one of the highest selling movies, if not the highest selling movie of all time, organically. It didn't happen because he had cancer. It didn't happen. To, you know. You know. Cause I feel like you know. We'll see it because. Yeah, like pity, yeah, like out of pity or something. Mm-hmm. It, it didn't happen because of that. it happened because it was just that good of a goddamn movie. And mm-hmm. also on top of that, yep. just the, the wide variety of audience that it brought in. That that's amazing. Hey, we can do that too. We can be superheroes also. We don't gotta be the bad guy or the dumb criminal or the guy that gets killed first in every scary movie. We can actually be a superhero, a badass superhero with that. Man. He meant a lot more to this world than a lot yeah, of people man. realize. He's a simple. I mean, his, his death. Death, the announcement of his death, the tweet, is the most liked tweet of all time. That's, That's how many people that reached. I think mm-hmm. the best thing about the portrayal of every character in Black Panther was the fact that so many, it was such a gray line. It wasn't bad guy versus good guy, no. Exactly. It, it, it was experience versus experience. It was yeah. upbringing versus upbringing. Oh. So that's why, is, yeah, it, yeah. So that's why it was the first, like that's why it's the perfect movie for me when it comes to black representation. Because obviously, I mean, obviously you have moral injustice. I get that, but you have so many people saying, "Well, you can't be mad at Killmonger for acting the way he did." His family exiled him. I don't know. Black Panther was the first time, you know, it's an odd way to put it, but like, happy African culture was shared. There's, there's so many, like we've just been hit with slave movie after slave movie mm. after slave movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. 
for historical purposes and reasons, those movies are important and and extraordinarily well executed. Finally, it's it's not a slave movie about Africa. This is a right. this is a look at your culture and history in in, in, a, in a very positive and free way that isn't seen really at all in at western all. cinema <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It, it, and i get i get what you're saying because that's one thing that i got tired of just seeing movies where back in the day racism xyz or just they're the slave or they're the help you know what i'm saying it's always some kind of serving role and it, it gets yeah. tired. it gets tired of that's the only thing that we are we're just we can only just look back we can't look forward <laughs> we can't look at now what we're doing now and that's why I, I was saying like i'm it, it's great that these kids got to see something besides you know just you know uh, them somebody being an athlete or you know being in the music it, it, it was kind of just an amalgamation of, of everything that we love and, and aspire to be that's that's what i loved about black panther that was great and i really hope that they run with uh shuri's black panther like you said but that would be dope that would be dope that would what? be dope. They got the new Black Panther in his honor. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, man. It was crazy because, like, you know, celebrity deaths in our era are, like, somewhat blown out of proportion. Mm-hmm. But I feel like with him, because of the way, like, he went about his lab, like, his final days, you know, I feel like it's hard to focus on all the good that was done, like, the mm-hmm. positive image, you know because it was just so, because it caught us off guard. Um, but as far as like, you know, impact goes, I mean, I don't think we could have asked for like a more humble superhero as, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. for Black Panther, like we take a lot of pride in that, that you're focusing on the wrong thing. Like don't focus on the cancer, you know, focus on all the good that was done. And I was like, that's exactly right. And so that's kind of why I'm trying to shift my mindset and try to shift like, you know, when I talk about it, the yeah. dude brought us like so many great classics. Like he didn't turn down a lead role about a prominent black, his you know, uh, person in history or in you know the most popular case, superhero. Uh, you know, he took that challenge on, and mm-hmm. you know, I think he rocked it in everything. So everything, mm-hmm. mastered it. I remember sad at first, and you know, it, it, it hit especially black people so deep because it's like it just kind of feels like we just keep get, taking hit after hit, but. When you look at it from a different perspective, like I was saying earlier, we we gained so much from him, and and I think that that's what a lot of people are realizing now. And and the conversation, Greg, is happening with most people about what we talked about with Shuri and Michael, bring it back, Michael B. Jordan. Um, I'm glad that we are all on the same page because <laughs> we just think that would be the most sense, and that would that would not only I think ease you know the transition, but then also. It would it would pave a way for something totally new, which is a mm-hmm. female superhero. And yeah. I was gonna say the same black yeah. women, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I, mean, I feel like yeah. right now at that time, yeah. it's that's needed more than ever. So yeah, because yeah. I think I think the main black uh, female superhero is Beyonce right now. <laughs> 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 so it'd be nice to have somebody on screen. Like seriously, I do want to use this video, edit the <laughs> out of it, and then um, throw in some other stuff. Sprinkle yeah, I'm assuming stuff. you're gonna cut that part out. Happy birthday, Greg, bro. Hey, appreciate it, bro. I'm so tired. (laughs) (laughs) I'm about to go to sleep, bro. It was a great birthday, man. I got a lot of birthday love. I appreciate everybody, man. It was fun. It was real fun. It was cool for the for the circumstances man no, i couldn't ask for more so okay yeah yeah I it's, a it's a blessing mm-hmm. it's a blessing it was a really good vibe love the energy uh you seemed at peace you know I what i'm saying bro. you seemed I at am, peace I felt so real good, good. all right we got less than a minute so we gotta wrap oh, up. So, all, right. all right all right guys y'all take it easy right, all right you too